Woo! Nice little gear changes, come on! Hi guys and welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Amber. Now today I'm going to reveal to you my parents' new slash used car. And if you haven't subscribed to me already, you should. So make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified every time a video does go up on my automotive YouTube channel. Get to the point, Amber. So a little while ago, my socials. If you don't follow me on my socials already, you should. I was advertising my parents' Fiat Panda, which was for sale. The one with the record Monza exhaust. I actually filmed it on this road, I believe. So if you click on the card above, you can see that video. So that Fiat Panda, as I stated in that above video, was my mum's work car. So she's a dog groomer, and the idea of the Fiat Panda was my dad stripped out the back seat so she can get the cages in and put the dogs in the cages in the back of the Panda. So yeah, they actually ended up keeping that car for quite a while tinkered with it did a few little modifications record ones where it's awesome you guys seem to love that car and so did i it was a basic panda but it sounded amazing and uh it did actually go quite well and then my mom got this idea in her head i want a new work car so originally she was looking at something cheap and cheerful but new so datsia first came to her mind so they test drove a few datsias and in the back of my mom's mind she's always wanted a mini now just going back pedaling a little bit they did have a mini cooper s a little while ago i'll try and put a picture in here now racing green cooper s it went really well it was actually a car i nearly bought but they ended up buying it and my mum thought god i really miss that old mini that we used to have so when um, they started looking out for minis so yeah they test drove the mini countryman it was a bit too big for what they wanted did find a used mini which was right up their street and i actually think it's pretty cool now i've never driven or filmed a mini for my youtube channel and i've now just renewed my bath insurance so i'm now insured fully comp drive anyone's vehicle as long as the car's insured so that's why i'm out here today filming my parents new mini slash use let's show you the car so here it is guys my parents 2007 mini cooper s clubman <laughs> excuse the abandoned trailer i've already had someone ask me if it's mine and uh no it's not i have to say is i absolutely love the shape of this clubman unusual thing about this is it's always been an unsymmetrical kind of car because here this is actually a door but on the other side you don't get that little door so we'll talk more in full about the mini in a second i just love the profile it's like a little mini van i also like the what it looks like at the back yeah i think it's quite a cool car what do you guys think let me know in the comments below let's take a look around this thing Obviously my parents are repping the Glitter Driven 24-7 logo sticker and you can get yours from clicking the link in the description below to my store. I am no mini expert, so going by the looks of things, it is a Mini Cooper S Clubman. Looks like we have some sort of John Cooper work styling because we've got the Union Jacks on the wing mirrors, on the side repeaters there. We've also got a John Cooper works on the stripes. Also got this cool little bonnet scoop. My parents have actually bought a private plate for this, but the logbook's taken ages. Currently on its original 57 plate. Assuming it has got xenon headlights because it's got the washer jets that come out. Obviously these need a polish. Obviously bearing in mind, guys, this is a used car. It's going to be my mum's new work car, so it has got obviously a couple of dinks, a couple of little scrapes. Really liking the spotlights as well. Also got the fog lights and the grill down the bottom as well. So these could, again, it's a used car, these wheels could definitely do with a refurb 100%. Looks like a BBS type of style wheel. We've got the bumper mouldings onto the side skirts going down to the rear of the car. And then like I said to you just a minute ago, there should be a door here, but there isn't. That's on the other side. Got the chrome filler cap, got tinted windows, another thing. And you guys will know this from my previous videos. So and you've got a bloody sunroof. So I've got a little short and stubby sort of Union Jack aerial going on the top of the roof. And I do quite like the bumper, plastic coloured side skirts and the wheel arches. So we've got a few colours going on. We've got the Union Jack, the black stripe, silver roof, silver wheels, and we've got the black around the bottom of the car. Moving on to the back of the car now, we have this massive brake light which is in white obviously lights up red when you're braking. We've also got the two doors at the back and we've also got tinted windows at the back. Also got two exhaust pipes, one each side. 
I love a bit of random grill work there. It's also got parking sensors as well, and we've got the Cooper S badge, and this is the thing I absolutely love and most about this model, I think. We've got the silver coming back around surrounding the rectangular lights. We've got the little mini logo in there as well. I just really like this light, I really like it. <laughs> and it looks quite fat actually from this angle. So my parents have actually got this car sign written by myself while I cut the stickers and my dad stuff them on. So I don't want to show you too much of the rear of the car because it's got my parents' phone numbers and everything on it. But what I will show you is the doors and they are really cool and they open just yeah I'll show you they're wicked. Just click there's a little button here to click it and then you just click it and the doors are now open. Button on this. <laughs> now we have the doors wide open we've actually got a nice little cubby hole either side which is pretty cool nice tiny little doors so cute this actually lifts up so you can take these out all together and it's actually quite deep down here the seats fold forward so once it's all flattened down there is actually quite a nice big space to put a dog cage and put the dog in it the car isn't too high off the ground so it is quite a nice easy access to the boot area sort of small opening but it's nice and flat obviously you've got to make sure you close the doors the right way around i suppose a nice little union jacks there as well there's union jacks everywhere got some sort of racing flag sort of design going on here so we've got the electric mirrors we've got leather seats all the way around in the car so i don't really like this design personally i like to have all my clocks in the front we've got the rev counter it's a bit of digital down there tells you when to shift up and down gears so while i'm in the car actually i should actually tell you it is a 1.6 petrol it's got six gears manual and my dad reckons from factory they should have about 170 ish brake horsepower however we have noticed someone has peeled off a sticker that says remapped on the bonnet because if you look in the right sort of sunlight you can see it says remapped so and my parents i haven't driven it properly yet but my parents are saying it is definitely remapped from what it goes like so it'd be interesting to actually see what it's been remapped to because you wouldn't put a remapped sticker on a car surely if it wasn't remapped we've got this racing stripe stuff again i'm assuming that open good old mum with a face mask in there so i do like this bit though so we got the uh speedo but it also comes up digitally did it i can't even say it digitally this also comes up with fuel that lights up as well mini navigation system hmm i've always been a fan of these little flip switches in the mini so this looks like the actual mini logo doesn't it i don't know if my parents have noticed that so we also got the six speed this knob actually i thought it was some sort of air freshener thing is actually the radio you got all different sorts of buttons here nice little cubby hole here oh there's a little union jack thing there <laughs> these seats are actually quite nice yeah the seats are quite nice and comfy it looks like it's got a start stop as well sport button my mum said told me where the sport button is so i'm assuming she wants me to use it thanks for the go ahead mum it's got basic steering wheel control this is like a double panoramic sunroof i have a little tamper with the sunroof now so it both of them are tilted okay so it won't go back anymore because obviously the roof's on top of the other roof so yeah this is what it's like when it's open so let's just have a look quite well, came open easily full leather in the back as well looks like we've got cup holder a nice little cubby hole there this is obviously the weird door i was telling you about the little diddy door comes open can i just say how cool does it look we've got no pillar there the car's just completely open that is quite a cool angle i like that nice wow that's how i'll get in get the gopros on and let's get a feel for the car and i'll tell you my opinion join me in the driver's seat of the Mini Cooper S Clubman. First things first, the windscreen is really really small but because it is so small like what you're looking out of you feel like you're in a smaller car than you maybe are in. First impressions, although this is a used 2007 83,000 mile Mini Cooper, the gears it changes really nicely it's actually really quiet in here as well when i do look behind me now i feel like i sort of remember i'm in a clubman and not just a normal sort of small mini i'm going to try and take it down a little country road here just see what a corner's like another thing it has got is like one touch indicators so you don't have to press it all the way down which i'm not really a fan of because i sort of feel like you'll sort of wait for it to click down and actually indicate but it sort of feels like you haven't really put it into indicator mode properly this car is really really quiet yeah it's cornering well we'll just and it does pick up well it feels absolutely fine it feels solid handles the bumps with ease oh it is flying <laughs> forget it's like a estate car really gosh she does want to go around these corners Woo! this is a 
alright, I like this. I can see why people like these because it's practical enough and it's big enough to get dogs in the back, get your kids in the back, but it's also quite a fun car. The back of it, it looks modern enough, it's sporty. I can see why there are a lot of uh, the mini scene is such a big scene now. Down the third Wow! <laughs> God, that clever leg! Put it into third right. Whoosh. Wow, that really does take off, okay. Cooper S Clubman behind me and I have to say I didn't really know what to expect I've never driven a Mini personally although my parents have owned one before but for a 2007 used Mini Cooper S Clubman I like using the Cooper S word because it's important she does go bearing in mind it is remapped and bearing in mind we don't know what BHP or power she is actually producing but yeah it's a nice car to drive although it's an estate car you feel like you're in something smaller from behind the steering wheel it corners well it picks up well yeah, and I think it's really stylish. I just love the boxiness of this thing. It just looks really cool. If you've enjoyed this video, and please let me know by clicking that like button. Let me know your thoughts on the Clubman in the comments below. It'd be interesting to see your guys' opinions. Like I said, I personally like it, and I don't know if my parents have got any plans to modify this, but I'm sure this won't be the first or last video you see of this car on my channel. And if you haven't already, then please take a few seconds to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified every time a video does go live on my automotive YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on the socials, you'll see all that at the end of the video where you can find me so when I'm not making videos you can follow me. And if you want to support me further, do check out my Driven 24-7 store, link in the description below where you can buy your stickers. And there's one more of this t-shirt left because I've got some new stuff coming to the website soon. And yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you like this one bring a new car to the channel my parents mini cooper s clubman and i'll see you in another one guys thanks for watching thoughts on this mini cooper s clubman s clubman what the hell